Hello, everybody. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be explaining a fairly straightforward piece of uh, musical theory as quickly and simply as possible. That is, what modes are and how they work. And then we're going to be diving in and trying to use them writing a little simple piece of music. OK? Sound fun? Right, let's get cracking. Now, let's back up a little bit to start with. Oop. <clears throat> Hello, keyboard. Hello, guy. OK. Middle C, OK. Um, the distance between middle C and the next nearest note is a half step. And it can be a black note, like that, or a white note. Those are both half steps. In the UK, that's known as a semitone. So from there to there is a semitone, there to there is a semitone. From there to there, because it's two half steps, it's called a whole step. And from there to there is a whole step. See, it's two half steps add up to a whole step. Okay? Now, you may remember, because when I explained this before, um, a scale is simply uh, a pattern of intervals. So if you were to play the intervals whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, you'd get a major scale. Look, start on C, go up a whole step, another whole step, then a half step, whole, 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 half. What? Miracle of miracles! We just played a major scale. Okay, so let's do it in English. <laughs> I mean in... That sounds patronizing. I'm sorry. I mean in UK terminology. So we're going to go tone, tone, then the next one's a semitone. Tone, 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 semitone. If you start anywhere on the keyboard and play that pattern of intervals, you always get a major scale. That's what a major scale is. Okay, here it is. Here's a revolutionary idea. What happens if you play the same white notes but you don't start on middle C? <gasps> what will happen? Okay, starting on D. Ah, we get a different scale. What we get is actually a mode. That's all a mode is. A mode is simply starting on a different note of, uh, of the scale. So it, modes are types of scales. They're patterns of intervals, just like a major scale is. But <coughs> if you start on the D, you get one called Dorian. And it's got this very distinctive sound to it. But look, the pattern of intervals, it goes whole, half, whole, 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 half, whole. So it's a different pattern of intervals. And that one's called D Dorian because it starts on the D. So if you were to play the same pattern of intervals, whole, half, whole, 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 half, whole. <laughs> Sorry, it's a lot of holes and halves. I know, I know, I know, I know, okay. Starting somewhere else, like B flat, for example. So if you go whole, half, whole, 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 half, whole, that is B flat Dorian, okay? B flat tells you where you start, and Dorian tells you the pattern of intervals. That's all there is to it. So once you know <coughs> the pattern of intervals that make up a major scale, you know all the so-called church modes. Um, they've all got Ponzi uh, Greek names, um, but so this one, actually the major scale is also a mode called Ionian. D is Dorian. E is Phrygian. F is Lydian. G is Mixolydian. A is Aeolian. And B is Locrian. And they all have a different feel. Now, that's all the modes are. So, in other words, if you can work out, if you can remember tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, or uh, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, that is the pattern of intervals for the major scale. You now know the pattern of intervals for every one of the seven modes because you just offset it so you start on d you've got dorian you just work out what those intervals are you start on e you've got phrygian so it's half whole 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 half whole whole that's it what's all the fuss about so why you may well ask me when i get back into focus do you think that these modes are so exciting so important but it's what I've just given you, and I'll show you in a moment, it's like if you're a chef and somebody suddenly invented a brand new f um, you know, ingredient for you. Um, have you got any, um, have you tried pommel flotty? What? 
No, I've no. Well, you, you put your pommel frotty in, in, in with the pasta. It just tastes like a new dish. Oh, OK. Or, you, or say you're an artist and somebody says, what colour do you think that would look? I think a little bit of deep cringe would look lovely. Cringe? What's cringe? It's a new colour. That is what modes are. Now, there are one or two things you will notice when we start writing music with modes. OK, so here we go. That's chord one. Now, whoa, chords, modes and chords, what's going on? Well, if you think we're, we're using all the white notes for the modes, we're using the same white notes to make the chords, so it's the same chords, they're just reorganised. Sort of, OK. So most what's called functional harmony uh, relies very heavily on this. That's chord one, because it's the triad based on C. Chord five which is the triad based on G, because it's the fifth note of the C major scale, called one. And that is the thing that establishes the key. I am C. Don't mess with me. There's no doubt I am C, etc. Now, if we do that in a mode, that's called one of, um, of D, D Dorian, Allegedly, it doesn't give you the same sense that I have to go back to um, the home note. And in modes, that home note is called the final, okay? There's so much, so much terminology that is almost designed to get in the way. It's like somebody's there chucking chairs in your way to stop you understanding some of this stuff. Uh, okay, but it doesn't have to be that way. Now, but the consequence of this is, because we're using the same triads, we're just starting and finishing on a, a different note, and we don't have that big, we need to find other ways to reinforce what key we're in, what mode we're in. Um, and so you tend to use other things. Shall we turn a bit of click on? Notice how that was perfectly nice, but spectacularly out of time. I mean, it wasn't even close, was it? I mean, what was I thinking? It's because I need to slow this down. Because I had a piece of, a sort of little vibe going in my head. Okay. It's funny what comes out first thing in the morning. Somebody was saying the other day, he always gives his tea and he never drinks it. Morning. It's getting a little bit lukewarm. I better get on with the writing. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about music theory, here's an idea. Learn music theory. It's fun, practical, and packed with clear explanations. A video course that will show you how music really works pitch, keys and scales, chord progressions and written notation, all explained in a clear, easy to understand way. Learn music theory. Quick, practical and fun. The way music theory should be. Um, so we've got something going here. Um, is it going to work? Ben Osterhaus's um, Suspiro. Yep, it's going to work. Um, um, is there room for a little? like that little cross rhythm. So what we got going on in the piano is triplets and in the uh, Celtic harp is uh, ordinary uh, quavers, which is pretty cool. 
I mean, it works. You can see it on the page. Look, there, each, there's a beat. One, two, three. So, bum, 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 bum. And look, and here's the harp going, dun, 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 dun. We like that. That's cool. Now, what about a little tune? Um, am I going to try and cut and paste this? It me... might do. Oh, no, no. I tell save my work. Save my work. Save my work. Uh, okay. Hang on. Just going to do a little bit of house, house cleaning before we do anything else. I don't want to quantize it because I quite like it the way it is. But if I'm going to cut and paste it, I do need to quantize those first notes so they start uh, bang on. Uh, so otherwise they won't cut. And I'll cut and they'll all fall off. And they go, disappear. Right, OK, that worked. Now we're going to chop the end off as well. And then we're going to loop it. Um, because I quite like that. And then I can add some extra bits in. Uh, another thing. OK. Most people do that. And, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. What I've done is I've introduced all three ideas at the same time. You don't need to do that. And then you wonder why your pieces don't last long enough. Introduce something else immediately after that. This is the very, very lovely um, Shakahachi from Jade Ethnic Orchestra. I love it. This sounds like a menu for a game. Um, uh, okay, Just keep it going. Ah, the, the combination. Okay, the, the sound palette's everything, isn't it? In a way, oh, it's not everything, but you see what I mean about the, the fact that we. Is this modal? Yes, it is modal. It is modal. I mean, the, but a lot of the time when you're writing, particularly in film and television. You sort of drift in and out of various modes, and it is modal, um, and it's it's just using um, three chords, and it's definitely got a pedally thing going on because that that D is repeating all the time. So let's see if we can't add some. The only other thing I'm going to do to this before I'm going to just call it done because it's sounding all right. I'm going to introduce that rather more subtly than that, so I'm going to do it again, really softly. I don't need I don't need as much of that.
went all right. I stopped talking because I thought, oh, actually, this is okay. <laughs> save your work, save your work, save your work. So look, the thing is, I mean, if you're sitting there and you're having an inspiration, you know, cardiac arrest, I have no idea what to tell right now, and you need the paddles, you need the sort of, oh, this is a really horrible analogy. No, 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 put that out. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, um, uh, what is another analogy? Uh, Okay, you're feeling a very much like a deflated, inflatable zebra. Yes, that's the one. And uh, you need to be <laughs> blown up again. Give modes a shot. Now, D Dorian is, is, I mean, is uh, a very, very common one. But there are, you know, loads of others. And, you know, any scale has modes. You can do this with any scale. It doesn't have to be the major one. Yeah, really, honestly. It's quite cool, isn't it? Okay. Look, thank you very much indeed for your company. I hope you've enjoyed that. And um, if you did and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, really? Honestly? Come on, push the button, do the bell, all that, and I'll see you again very soon.